All right, guys, what's going on? Today is the day. This is hopefully going to go in there. Maybe. Hopefully. So I'll show you what my plan is. I talked about it on the last video a little bit uh, with the floor removal. So the goal for today is to get it in there. Uh, and go from there, get the body mounts on, get it bolted down, stuff like that. So there's been a little bit of concern on, you know, the way I'm going to do this. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, guys, and, and the reason I'm going to do this this way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop the door off. I've got the door in line pretty good. I'm probably going to shoot just a little bit of paint in there on the hinges just as a little bit of a reference point i'm it'll have to be adjusted back in once i go back on with the door but guys there is nothing in here my inner structure you know i've still got to do rust repair here so from the outside i'm going to slit this thing right back where i welded it the first time. My post is already welded in. I'm going to put a slice cut right here, slice this quarter back open, and cut my rocker. Now, there was concern about, you know, this thing moving. And I can't guarantee nothing. But I'll tell you my th thought process on it. We're still connected to the frame, all right? The very front two body mounts that's off the cowl is still in and tight. The very back body mounts are still in and tight. So in theory, that ties it all to the frame. I shouldn't get any movement or sag. If it was gonna sag, it would already been sagging right here before I even cut the old floor out. Because before I cut the old floor out, I mean, it wasn't even tied to the to the inner quarter, inner quarter or the rocker. Now, if, if my door skins, the inside of my quarters and stuff was finished, if I'd already got that far, you know, there's no way I'd cut this quarter out like this. You know, I'd do what I had to do. Pull the motor, raise the front end up, or raise the body up off the frame, whatever have you. The reason I'm doing it like this, guys, is because, you know, the only thing I have is my outside structure built. So to hold the car from flexing, in theory, is them four body mounts that's still left in it. In the frame, it tied together with the frame. That's what I'm hoping. That's what we're shooting for. Uh, I think if I ever do another conversion, because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be pretty simple. I'll put the pan in at an angle like this, set it down. But I think if I ever do another conversion, before I go in with my structure, once I you know, cut the side out, the four doors out to redo the post and all that stuff, I'll go ahead and get a floor pan and stick in whatever ride it is and I can go straight in. You know, if I was doing a frame off restoration on this, yes, I get it. You know, I'd pull it off, pull the frame out from under, you know, all that good stuff. You know, this is not a frame off, guys. This is just gonna be a driver car. You know, I'm gonna LS it eventually. You know, it's just gonna be a good driver. I'm not gonna put a, probably not gonna put a big high dollar paint job on it. You know, you guys have seen my style with the gasser, with the truck, you know, all that stuff. You know, that's just me, guys. Uh, in my mind, a shiny new penny, and don't get me wrong, I like it. But a shiny new penny, you know, I can't go out and enjoy it. I pull up somewhere, you're always wiping on it, you're always worried about somebody dinging it, uh, you know, whatever have you. You know, this thing's gonna be a good driver, like my gasser, like the truck. If I get caught in the rain, Oh, well, you know, it, it is what it is. Car's not going to be out in the weather. It is going to be a dry storage, but, you know, it's not going to be a shiny new penny, guys. And for me, it's nothing but 
you know, welding this seam back up, which I've already done, you know, and in a sense I'm redoing, but mm. it'll be all right. It is what it is. So what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to get you set up on a stand. First thing we're going to do is pop this door, get it out of the way. I'm going to get my body bushings set in where I'm wanting them, where they go and all that good stuff. Then we're going to get the Metabo blade and we're going to start cutting this side out and get the one piece floor in today. So that's the game plan guys. All right, I'll set you up, bring you back here in a little bit. See you guys. All right, guys, bring you back just a second, show you what we got going on. Uh, this looks like a totally crazy idea. But let me show you in the next one. We've got a limousine. We just put one big door on it, floor pan, we'll be ready to go. But anyway, I had it tied in just a little bit to this inner wheel well. So it was a little bit more work to get it out. But I think this idea will work great if you're doing a four door conversion to think ahead, you know, go ahead and get your floor pan if you're planning on putting one in, if you don't want to lift the body up. And when you go to do the conversion on this side, why you've got your post cut out to move it anyway, go ahead and put your floor pan in. And I think it'll work just fine. But I've got all the body bushing setting in place ready to go and all that good stuff me and dad's getting ready to slide this floor pan in get it bolted down and, and see what we come up with guys so i'll bring you back here in a few minutes we'll set up laps on this and bring you back see you
All right, guys, what's going on? Bring you back here and give you an update on this floor pan and uh, show you where we're going from there. Floor pan's gone, guys. It's not leaning against the wall. Means we got it in. So I'll show you here. Man, it's nice. Absolutely awesome. Shiny new penny. Of course, I've got some more work to do, but it's got all the body bushings in it, bolted down where it goes and all that good stuff. Now guys, I'm, I'm a big believer in making panels when I can make panels, but I recommend this. This is awesome. It's a big chunk. Helps hold the car square and all that good stuff. So as you've seen, we, we took this side out on camera and put it back in. So today's project, I'm gonna start welding it back in. I've got everything tacked in, got the door hung. My gaps are, are really good actually. I've gotta do just a little bit more adjustment on the door, uh, but it's, it's actually great. Uh, I don't know if you guys could have seen this in the other cameras, but I had a little bit of a buck right here in the quarter from the first time I put this in. And since I've took it out and put it back in, the quarter is, is extremely straight where it's supposed to be down the side of the car. Hopefully you guys can see that. But there was a little buck right here, right above that wheel well. And going back in with it, it's it straightened itself out. So I, mean, I don't know if I had something under pressure or what. But anyway, as far as these floor pans, guys, uh, cutting out this side and taking that door off, it worked. You know, I was able to get the floor pan in. You know, I've got to get it finished up, but it's all in there. So, all right, guys, back to it. Sorry about that. Anyway. If you're doing a four door conversion, you know, this way works. If you're not taking the body off the frame, you know, when you go to uh, move your post and all that to, to do the conversion, go ahead and think first, if you're going, if you're planning on doing the floor, go ahead and get it there, get it in the car when you blow out this side. Then you don't, you know, don't have to cut it out the way I did after I'd already, you know, built everything. Now, if, if, it was a two-door sedan or a hard top or something like that absolutely guys raise the body raise it from the front you know raise the whole body put your floor pan on and go from there you know like i said i'm not doing a frame off on this making a good driver and in my situation it was easier to cut this whole side back out versus lifting that body because you know like i've told you before in other videos you know this thing does still have the motor in it still runs and drives right off the key. Um, and I wanted, I want to keep the car together as long as I could. So that's what we come up with guys. We've still got inner structure to do. You know, I've got to do some plug welds across here, the back to get the pan in complete. Uh, with this side, I'm going to have to make just a little bit of a there's like a double channel. And when we put this rocker in, it was a cap. So I'm gonna have to make just a little bit. Got a little bit of rust repair to do on the wheel wells. You know, and get everything fastened in guys. It, it's gonna be nice. The driver's side come together real good and you'll see the difference in the rockers. So there was still some of the factory rocker that was good on this side when I put it in. And, and the way these work, they come over and they have like a, a, a double lip and then it pinch welds together. Uh, that side does not have it and I'm gonna have to make that piece, no big deal. Um, I didn't buy rockers for this car. I had, you know, the rocker caps that was on it and I used them into rockers. So we'll get everything pinched weld together and and go from there. Still got to do some tow board work, which I'll be making them by hand, uh, the patches, and I'll probably bead roll, you know, something in it for strength.
But today's project, I'll set you up on some laps and we're gonna start getting this welded back in. We've gotta weld the post back up right here and the rocker right here. But that's what we got going today, guys. So I'll set you on laps and bring you back. See you.
All right, guys, bring you back real quick, show you what we're working on today uh, with this floorboard install, and uh, we'll go from there. So I did pick up a little, uh, well, it's 36 inch brake, metal brake, Harbor Freight. It's okay. I need to do a few things to it, beef it up some, but you know, it serves the purpose for what I'm doing. But I'll show you what, what we're doing today so these rockers if you guys remember they was rocker caps when i got this car and i cut the old rockers out and i used these instead of buying them well the difference between a cap and an actual rocker is the way they're designed right here you know this is supposed to come over and have an uplift that way you can do a pinch weld right here well on a cap they don't because they're meant to cap over the factory rockers now i can kind of show you on the driver's side there's a little bit of it left which i'll be cutting out to do this side too but the way the factory rockers made it has these rolls in it in this pinch weld here which pinch welds the floorboard together that was what was left on the driver's side so what I'm doing with this, guys, uh, I've already pre-broke some metal, and I'm doing it in, in sections about this long. Like I said, that thing's 36 inch. I need to do a little work work to it, and it'll probably be a pretty good uh, pretty good tool. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put that in there like that. We're gonna pinch weld this or plug weld, and then we're gonna weld the seam up right here to the rocker and uh, you know, smooth it out and all that stuff. And then that will tie the floorboard to the rockers. So I'm making these pieces to go down this channel and we, once we even get back there, we'll be doing the same thing. Um, so I've kind of done a little bit of it off, off camera. I've already got the pieces made and I've already cut this to what I need. So next step I'm gonna do guys, and I'll set you up on some laps. We're gonna drill a few holes right here. That way we can vice grip it together and, and plug weld it, and uh, we'll roll from there. All right guys, I'll set you up and we'll go from there. See ya.
All right guys, update of where we're at um, with this floor pan install and what we're doing. And we're probably gonna cap this one right here uh, uh, and start a new video. I've got a ton of footage of this. And uh, when we go to the other side to do the rocker, like what you guys just seen, I'll actually show how I'm breaking this on the metal break, making my pieces and all that stuff. But I'll show you what we got so far. We've got our pieces in here. We've got them tacked. We've also got it plug weld to the floor pan. I'm not gonna finish welding anything yet. We've made it all the way back. I like about uh, six inches right there. And I'm gonna hold up on that because I think instead of trying to cut these door skins down, I think I'm gonna cut at the top of the fender well there Go ahead and cut that out because it's kind of like trash. And being as I got this break now, I think I'm gonna break a piece of metal to make this uh, inner structure. And then that way I don't have to cut down the old inner door skins. You know, I'll be able to make them custom fit around the wheel well, all the way up to the post. And then I'll be able to, you know, do my slit put my window regulators in and and hopefully at the end of all this have the roll up windows in the back guys is what I'm shooting for but right now this is where we're at we've got that done also 
got the quarter welded back up and got the first grind cut on it. I've still got some more grinding to do, but it looks pretty good. Um, as I was working down through here, you know, nothing was tied together. So as I was going down through here, I was working everything in and out to make sure this is, is as straight as I can get it with the metal work. And to be honest, it turned out extremely straight. It was It's actually straighter now than it was the first time I had it put in. And I'm real happy with it. So I think that's where we're gonna cap this video, guys. And uh, I'll start you another one. I'm either gonna go stay on this side and go to the inner structure here, or I'm gonna go ahead and make my pieces on the driver's side. And I'll probably go to the driver's side with the next video and make my channels. It'd be just a little bit different, but it'd be real close. And you know, I'll show you breaking the metal on the brake and, and all that good stuff. And then still to come pretty quick is gonna be rear window. I haven't forgot about it yet. I'm just trying to get everything tied together with the floor pan and all that stuff. So we like this rocker, inner structure, rear window. And then when I get to the tow boards up here, I'll be making them custom by hand. Um, and we'll go from there, guys. But until then, like, subscribe, comment to me, guys. Talk to me. Uh, I try to get back to everybody's comments. Sometimes it takes me a day or two, but I will get back to you. Uh, thanks for all the great feedback and all that stuff. See you guys.